Hey guys, good morning. Guess what? We're leaving one more vlog. New destination I've never been before. We're leaving to Costa Rica. Welcome to this vlog. Ciao, we're having breakfast. I didn't have breakfast yet. Guys, um, so as I said, we're leaving today to Costa Rica. We're flying first to Frankfurt. We're here at Berlin Tegel Airport. The flight is about 80, 90% booked, approximately. And um, so I should come with, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, you will. On the way back, it looks way worse. So. You will. And, um, you and my mom is with us too. Yeah, you might recognize her mom. Well, you saw her in the vlogs from our Mexico occasions but um, if you don't recognize her or you think hey from where should I know her you might know her from the German version of um, who wants to be a millionaire um, yeah guys so now we are waiting to board our aircraft the aircraft is um, about 10 minutes delay but that's not bad we still have a long amount of time to to spare in Frankfurt and um, yeah and then let's head to Costa Rica it's going to be a long day I know that uh, and also what we know is that after we arrive in, in San Jose we will rent a car directly and go straight to the hotel. So we have the car for the next day available for us. Um, yeah, come join us and I hope you like this vlog. So guys, hi, Bettina, how are you? <laughs> so we landed it's in San Jose after a very long and quite stressful flight, even though we were not fully booked. But um, yeah, sometimes when the flight is not fully really booked at all, it can be more stressful than a fully booked flight. Uh, nevertheless, we are quite tired, but now we're renting the car and we're going straight ahead to the hotel and then we are right there we'll tell you what's our plan for tomorrow all right we made it we made it <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for breakfast. And guys, if you might be asking what the hell happened here, to be honest, I don't know. It's a poop. Yeah, it looks ugly. And I don't know why the hell I got it. Maybe I was nervous before the flight, something like that. Oh, are we going to your mom's room first? <laughs> Please open the door. Not for strangers. <laughs> open the door. Not for yellow, white striped shirt stranger. Yesterday I did something for the first time ever. After a flight going straight direct and driving a car. I've never done that before. Um, let's say that the drive from the airport to the hotel was kind of okay. It was not that long. So it took us, I think, long okay no I, I was going to say that it took us maybe longer to get the car than driving to the hotel it's not true but um yeah what about you what i don't know is there anything you want to say yes my alpha maps doesn't show the right way <laughs> We've been driving for 
around 90 kilometers already no how much 40 50 yeah around 50 kilometers already uh, we still have around two hours to go I'm happy I'm very happy look at this view what do you think it's a beautiful view they're in the back like in between there are like cows and a lot of stray dogs We are at La Catarata de la Fortuna. We arrived after two hours, two hours thirty, maybe also maybe three hours. I don't know. These two guys, uh, they just came all the way up. Five hundred steps is the number that now we have to walk down, and then later all the way back. place is amazing I love jungles I always loved jungles it was like a little dream of mine being in the jungle and um, yeah guys this place is full of nature it's totally worth the money and the good thing is it's not full of people yet but that's because it's early Do you listen to that? We're almost there. Now uh, we're going into the water. I'm excited, I'm excited. I might repeat this sentence over and over and over again during this vlog. But uh, let me tell you, thanks to my job, I can visit places like this. So what else can I say? I love my job. What about you? Do you like it? No. <laughs> 500 steps starting from now. One, two, three. Maybe the way down it's is easy way. and it's beautiful, but this way up back, the 500 steps is exhausting. It's humid and it's wet and it's hard to breathe in this air. 334 steps right now. Finally, time for some food, like real food. Breakfast is like already. It was 5:30, and I think it's now 1:14. So it's been a while since we had food, and we stopped here at a cafe, a restaurant more or less, at La Fortuna in the city. My mango pineapple smoothie and my mom's has the same. Just Actually, arrived. Actually, try it first before you. I'm just you know to be clear or to be. To be sure that yeah, hey i want just to be sure that they can drink it so 
He doesn't like mango. No, it's too mango. -y. And he and he didn't die. But it's very good. There we go. I finally um, ordered a tuna burger and a ceviche for Bettina and you. What the hell did you order? Coconut breaded chicken with mango. It looks good. We are nearly back at San Ramon and it's where we can drive on the highway to the hotel straight away and we are a little bit scared that it will, we will come into rain because you already see the clouds climbing over the mountains and we don't want to drive like those hills and windy roads when it's raining so yeah, we're just we're almost there yes it's only like 15 minutes until we are on the highway we are on the highway so yes yeah we should be in around 40 <laughs> minutes back in the hotel In a traffic jam for the last two hours, at least two hours, we maybe three. Two and a half to, hours. We were supposed to arrive at the hotel before five. Now it's nearly seven. The problem was also that we said we would uh, put gas in the tank ourselves. <laughs> we just didn't know. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> we just didn't know that like gas stations are so rare here. I want to kill myself right And we stood in a traffic jam for like, it took us an hour to get from the hotel 600 meters <laughs> there and back. Not, not even now back, but yeah. For the record, I crossed and it was still in green light. <laughs> we all want to come in this one lane. in other countries just ch check out you know what they have and it's cheap guys one pineapple 575 that's not even a euro that's crazy one thing I also love to do is um, buying things that you usually get in Germany but here it's the, but the price here is much reduced in comparison to you know to Germany for example I just bought five packages of different kind of pasta Italian pasta the quality pretty much the same as the one from Barilla or maybe even better and here it costs not even one euro per package so amazing I love this place and now it starts to smell like pastries and I'm getting hungry because we haven't had breakfast yet pasta spaghetti tagliatelle and these ones over here and I try I bought also these to try it out later some blue potato chips and these ones, and these have um, parsnip, taro, sweet potato, yuca, and patata. Look at the price of the Nutella. For me, always a good price of seeing how imported products are in other countries is comparison, like comparing the Nutella with the German price. This is the smallest Nutella you can get, and it costs around two euros something. That's it. I think we're done. It's around 9 o'clock in the morning, at around 10 it should start raining, maybe a little bit later. At 12, the thunderstorm must be completely here and you can see already how the clouds are already climbing up the mountains. Like, in a way, I want to go home, on the other side I could stay here a little bit longer, so if the plane doesn't land on time or, I don't know, or they don't even land here, I wouldn't care at all, to be honest, to be one more day here. I'm with him, he never cares. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true as well. So guys, we are downtown in El Centro de la Ciudad de San Jose. It's the city center of San Jose. And we are heading now towards the Central Market or Mercado Central. And yeah, we will just hang around there. And later on, we will visit a coffee place. I'm quite excited of that because Costa Rica is known for their good coffees.
I found this little paradise of plants. Well, actually, this guy over there, he has a shop with basically cooking stuff and every possible thing you can imagine. But his plants is what amazes me the most. And it's amazing. I would love to take a few of them. But of course, it's uh, forbidden, so I won't. But I would really love to take a few of them. I'm actually quite sad. That it's not a lot because the price is amazing of these plants in comparison to Europe. I mean, these plants, they are from this country, you know, they, they grow here. And um, yeah, it makes me actually kind of sad. <laughs> I like the market, I found it actually quite interesting. It was a typical Latin American central market. It looks pretty much similar in Buenos Aires as well. Or better said from the stuff that you can buy there um, and from the people. We found the coffee place, it's called La Mancha. And not only the coffee place looks good, but the place itself where it is located, it looks amazing. That brunch was actually quite amazing. I love those pancakes. And cut. The coffee quality was perfect. I actually, I actually bought uh, another coffee um, for home. And now we're leaving. Um, in around five hours, we have to pick up. I want to rest a little bit and then prepare ourselves for the flight back. Hey guys, we're ready. And pick up is in half an hour. We have to go down now to check out. And we're leaving. We're kind of sad. My mom and I have to rebook the fl uh, our Frankfurt Berlin flight. Yeah, we're delayed, but because the aircraft came already late from Frankfurt, we don't know the reason yet. I'm guessing that it had to do with the weather condition here in Costa Rica. But this vlog doesn't finish here. <laughs> we have still one thing to do in Germany. That's trying out the chips. But yes, for that, testing. I'll see you in like 20 hours or something like that in Berlin. Bye. Bye. Like I said, before we finish this vlog, there's something that we need to finish. And that will be to try these out. So, to remind you one more time, these are called blues with sea salt, naturally blue potato chips. And these are the Mediterranean garlic and herbs with parsnip, taro, taro sweet potato, yuca, and batata. Mmm, you can really taste the garlic. Yeah, they're quite okay. They're like completely pepper. Oh. What? The other ones are much better. They're like... It's like if they're puffed or something like that. I like the other ones more. What is your favorite from both of them? Yeah, I like the other I think the other one's true. And... What I also like more about those are like that they have a stronger taste. This has been probably a long vlog. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. I will start probably tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Costa Rica layover with us. And I'll see you next time. Most probably in Nairobi, Kenya. Take care guys. Bye.